if like a girl invites me over and she goes, do you want to DCP? And you're yeah. like, I thought you'd never ask. Do you, do you, what are we talking about? Where are Who we? gives a fuck, dude? Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Honestly real quick, I got to yeah. plug some tour dates coming up. Do here. it. Uh, Atlanta, go see me on the 4th. Wait, when is this coming out? I fucked everything up already. Atlanta, March 4th. Oklahoma City, uh, March 5th through the 7th. And then also Tampa, March 24th. Florida, that's it. On with the show. Unless uh, let me, I just got, we got. Let me just, let me just walk up in here. Um, April 3rd and 4th, go to Lincoln, Nebraska. I will be there yelling jokes. Ooh, so do uh, that. Uh, yeah. Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, uh, I uh, eat uh, corn. I eat what corn. What's Nebraska like? Corn. All right. Just, yeah. Food? How's the food out there? Average. Really? At best. Really? I mean, dude, there's, you, no, there's no like true Nebraskan cuisine. What do you eat? I feel like every state's got some asset of that. Not Nebraska. No? I don't know, man. I, I've only, I literally only been in Nebraska for four days. And when that's, I go on the, but when I go on the that's road, twelve meals. I hear you, but when I go on you the don't. road, I'm a little. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't like. I don't go on Yelp. I'm like, ooh, what's the best? See, I'm the Nebraska? complete opposite. See, I know. I don't I, care I, about food that much. If I get one meal from the city that ever, because I don't like coming back from a place and they go, did you go to, did you go to Smorgasbord? What is that? You didn't. You didn't go. Then why the fuck would you even go there for work? Well, why did you didn't get the double deep chocolate chip fried pancakes dipped in bacon? <laughs> nah, I didn't. But should I? I want to. Apparently, Kool Aid was invented in Nebraska, so not that's real. Their, uh, that's wow. their big thing. Ooh. Not real. No, can't be who, real. Who gave the Kool Aid Man uh, a license, personality? License to break through a wall? Yeah. Who? I mean, how upset would you be? <laughs> how fucking uh, upset? He should break through the wall and hand you hand you spackle. Like you're gonna thank you so much for the Hawaiian punch. It's very nice of you, sir. Yeah. Spackle my goddamn wall. I just want to know they're like, all right, we need a logo and a mascot. Like, let's bring him to life. Cool. And then one guy's like, let's have him. Fuck shit up. Yeah, I don't even. Like, what's what's the point? Like, what's his biggest enemy? What what brand? What competition? He's like drywall. Like, no, no, no. What's like a brand? Like Minute Maid drywall. I'll fuck that thing. He just googles. Someone googles. Is drywall a fucking drink? Why is the guy keep yeah, screaming? Right. About I'll tell you what though. He huh. probably lays pipe. Let me tell Kool Aid you man. Let me tell you something. You come through a wall with that much confidence, oh. dog. You are giving him that D I C K K K K K K K. Kool Aid Man lays pipe for sure. That's a fact. There's not a Gabe. Uh, Google that because that's definitely a fact. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know go. what he's banging. You know. I feel. Do you like, think he's banging other drinks? No, I think what it is is like you know how Minute Maid comes in those frozen tubes. Yes. That's a flashlight for him. Let me tell you something, dude. You put a Minute Maid thing when it comes in. For, you put that in the microwave for about forty to forty-five seconds. Uh, fire that's and a ice. human. That's a human flashlight. Fire and ice, right there, because you get yeah. a little bit of cold, a little bit of defrosted. The, Dude, if you put your if you put your dick on ice for a little bit and then have sex, you probably last way longer. I don't know about that. What do you mean your dick's numb? Mm. Yes, but ice shrink. You ever, you ever been in a, a cold pool that hasn't been heated? You know when somebody's got a pool and they're like it hasn't been heated. You're like nah, it's a pool. It's Freezing. a pool. And then you go and you jump in and you're just like, <laughs> and your penis does one of these like when you put when you touch a snail. It's just, oh, let me ask you this real quick, sir. How Madam? come the temperature of water? It doesn't make sense. Like someone's like, "Oh, the water is six degrees." You go, "All right, it sounds 60, great." Yeah, uh, yeah. Freezing. I'll go for a run in the park, sixty degrees. Freezing. But if somebody's like, "The water's eighty-five, hot," <laughs> you make soup in there. <laughs> you make soup eighty-five degrees. It's not a hot tub. It's a hot tub's like, like one hundred and six degrees. Pools are good for like three days out of the year. Then everybody else is just like, eh. "Fuck a pool." Seems you know like what? A- <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Kid. Fuck him. It just seems like a hassle. It's, we gotta get the pool guy to come. The pool yeah, guy, all he does is just take leaves. All the pool guy does is take leaves out of the pool. He takes leaves and fucks your wife. That's all he does. <laughs> He's wrecking them in every movie ever. Like the pool guy. Yeah, that's true. He just be fucking. And then he just takes 14 leaves out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my job here is done. You got and a he, dead raccoon in the bottom, but that is out of my contract. And he puts some chemicals in there. Yeah. And and that's it. No, it seems like a hassle. And you gotta give him $100 every week. A hassle. What are you doing, Chad? Very easy job on their end. Somebody's going to ride in and be like, oh, I was once a pool boy. It's not easy. It is. It's an easy it is. Job. It is. You know what you do? You get in a fucking van. You drive around to people with, with pools. And by the way, people with pools, probably pretty nice people. You got money. You're, yeah. You got money. You're Nobody's not, you're got a pool not. in a trailer park. All right. Yeah. Well, the out, outside of the ground pool. In, in What yeah, is but, it called? Yeah. Out- you don't tend those. Yeah, no. It's full of pudding. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> it's a man. it's a goddamn swamp. There's people doing mud wrestling in there last night. Of course. Could you imagine being a pool guy and you pull up and it's just like a little kiddie pool? You're like, huh? 
That was okay. Well, that's a, the most hilarious prank in the world. Yeah, just, uh, uh, that's worth that's worth the content. Guy so, just takes a toothbrush and scrubs it down. He's like, "You guys are good, I think." Yeah, I, I think know. he just dumps the water on the grass. Oh, yeah. fuck this! Just we're refills done. it. Like, ah, I should have thought about uh, that. Damn it! I spent also, did you ever get one of those mini pools as a kid? Yeah. Didn't it's hot? You can't heat it. The trash. Well, you can. It's heat hose it. water. You, How? It is definitely hose what, water. Are you gonna hold up a big ladder to it? No, you leave it out in the sun. You leave no. it, dude. It, there's only six gallons in there. You leave it out in the sun for 11 minutes, you're good. No. Nah. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? No, nah, because, but no, nah, it takes a while to heat it up. And then, but maybe an hour. Yeah. It's just six gallons of water. It's, it's not. It's not. <laughs> you want Gabe to no, go? No, it? that's why pools have those giant tarps on it to heat them. No, they have the giant tarps on it so no leaves and shit get in it. Heater. <laughs> My neighbor had a pool growing up. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just feel like they're never. Did you have a pool? You you seem nah, like a pool guy. I didn't. My neighbor did though. Did you swim in it? Oh yeah, love that bitch. Did you have a? Do you have a, a neighbor with a with a um a trampoline? Mm. The trampoline neighbor was always a weirdo. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. It was, it was, yeah, he was always. And the only reason I ever went, I think his name was Scott. The only reason I ever went over to Scott's house was because he had a goddamn trampoline. My friend had a trampoline growing up, and for whatever reason, that was like fucking safe zone. You're away from the parents. You can do whatever, man. You can pull out a nudie magazine if you wanted. On the on the or underneath. Oh yeah. Dude. Well, we, one time we 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 slept on the trampoline. We just pulled a bunch of blankets out and slept on it. That's a great idea. I never did it. It was until you know the sprinklers went off at like five a.m. You don't think about like, the, and when you're younger, you think about in increments of like forty five minutes. You're like, that'd be cool. I can't think that'd of it. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. But then you're like, well, let's go to sleep out there. The sun will be up. The sun will warm us like it does the pool. Nope. Sprinklers, 5 a.m. Birds chirping, 6 a.m. Why the hell are sprinklers going off at 5 in the morning? Why not? This guy's got a sprinkler system and a goddamn trampoline? Yeah. We, Who was this, yeah, Bill Gates' we, son? Well, they had a good backyard. Good backyard? Yeah, they, good they, backyards they when you were a kid? Ba- Woo. They had a good backyard. They, were, they, they, they lived up against a hill, you know? So they just had like, oh, that's it just kind of never really ended. That's like great. they had the, the flat part and then it just went up. When I was a kid, I was... Uh, I was very racist in my backyard. I didn't, whoa, whoa, I didn't, whoa. hold on. Let what? me, let me work you through it. It is not horrible, but, uh, we had a bunch of, we had a bunch of bamboo, like in the corner of our, in a corner of our yard. Mm-hmm. And I used to play Vietnam, but I was, a, I was out there alone. So I had to play all the characters and I've watched a bunch of Vietnam movies. So in retrospect, it's hilarious to overhear that. Cause literally I was doing like fake Vietnamese language, mm-hmm. yelling at like yelling. And then I'd be the, the the American soldiers trying to fight the Vietnamese and soldiers. You just like throw bamboo stick, run, let it land on you, and then run back. You'd <laughs> no, be like, no, you no. idiot. No, you no, idiot. No, I'd just be in the bamboo. Like it was a bunch. So I could like walk around like as if I was in Vietnam. Like I was if it was in one of the movies. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, 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 man, Mike, there's Charlie everywhere. And then I would do a Vietnamese accent. I'm not going to do it because it's very racist. And then I would, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's crazy racist. And then I would be, you know, I'd be all the characters. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's like just, the hot nurse. It's like, it's, are you gonna be okay? <laughs> I don't know, big boy. You're just making out the grass. <laughs> that Why, is interesting. Michael, why do you have ticks all over your face? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I need a goddamn Salisbury steak. I just fought from the Vietnam War. Oh man, it was very uh Is there a more war veteran meal than a Salisbury steak? What is Salisbury steak? Who's Salisbury and why is it a steak? <laughs> I think I think it's a steak dipped in gravy. Uh yes, but I don't think I don't think it's actual steak. I think it's a ground beef. That is interesting. It's like I think it's like the cow's elbow. Oh, it's chicken bullshit. fried steak. What the fuck's a chicken fried? steak? You don't know what a chicken fried steak is? What is it like a piece of fried chicken that's in the shape I love of a steak? You just said what is a chicken fried steak, and I just go, you don't know what a chicken fried steak. Everyone is? does that. It's a human thing. You go, I've never seen this movie. They go, you never seen this movie? Yeah, bitch, is what I just said. And if you yell at me louder, you think I'm gonna remember that I've seen it? You fuck. <laughs> Everyone I used to have a joke about that. Everyone just gets louder when they you. Don't. I just I I I, I fold. I'm like, yeah, maybe I have. Is that the one uh, uh, with the... That's it. That we talked about before. You do this. Wow. The You're trying to loading, find something. Yeah. The brain loading. This is the international sign for I don't know what the fuck I'm about to say. Please fill it in for Yeah, me. please talk right now. Uh, is that the one with the... Uh, yeah, chicken fried So uh, It might be steak or it might be just beef patty or something. But then they just put it like a giant chicken tender and they deep fry and they put uh, gravy on top. Or is it gravy? White gravy. Hold on. Is there a difference is between... It, there is d- two different gravies. Yeah, the brown gravy and the white gravy. I don't know what the white gravy is. It looks like white gravy on the chicken fried steak. But hold on, I'm so sorry. So where, where's the chicken part? It's not. The why the fuck That's are you I'm putting saying. chicken in there? Don't it's double down. It's, it's breaded and fried, like a chicken. Like a chicken oh, chicken like nugget. a fried chicken piece yeah, of fried. Y'all yeah, yeah. could just do a fried steak. Yeah, but yeah. how would 
Yeah, but, Wait, you, but you don't prepare steak a steak nugget. Like Steak Ooh. nugget? Why does chicken nugget sound normal, but steak nugget sounds... Because... Stu- steak nugget sounds like, like a like A, a prison sexual in- position. <laughs> yeah, like a Yo, sexual but, but, inmate's go-to. But, but, if you... Steak. Steak. God damn! Steak? There's so many variations of it. Like, uh, what, what? you ever go to a place and it's like, you, you want steak tips? It's just like the little... What, what are those called? Nuggets. Steak nuggets? Steak weird. nuggets. Like, They're amazing. What? Let like, me ask right. you Let me ask you this. What do you cook your steak at? Can I guess? Medium... Mm, no. Medium, what, medium rare. Ow! You made me laugh. Go ahead. What is it? Medium rare. Med- yeah, me too. Um, there are some the fucking uh, weirdos that cook uh, medium well. If I'm ever on a date with a girl and she looks at the goddamn dude and she, and and she goes medium well, I think I kick you in the face. Medium well. What are you doing? Yeah. You just you want to eat a, a a shitty version of a steak? You're cooking all the taste out of it. Yeah, it's it's, it's aggressive. What are you, some, you ever get a place and and they're like. It's like a little too medium rare, and you're like, yes. "Is that blue?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what do you what do you do in that situation? I get a little weirded out. I have you. Uh, yeah, I've never. I don't think I've ever sent a steak back if it was like undercooked I did once. It was really? in Chico. You got a steak in Chico? Come on now. When it was, it was like a salad that had steak on it. When we were there, e- was I vomiting yeah. in the hotel room? You were. was I with you? No. You were vomiting in the hotel room. Mm, you were. Yeah. You were vomiting in the hotel room. Dude, I lost a whole day because of fucking Chico. Chino. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like it came out and then I like touched it with a fork and then it like, it, you, it, it, it looked like the Kool-Aid man done it, nutted on it. It was a lot of red. And I was like, You touch uh, it in a mood and you're like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Like, mm. <laughs> I was like, uh, guys, what's going on here? He's like, sashimi? No. Um, and you t- and you just like, can you cook well, them more? It was one of those where like the waiter came over right as I did the poke. Had mm-hmm. it been 13 seconds later, I'd be like, ah, it's fine. Everybody does it. When, when That's something I, I want to make a video about this, actually. It's just like the people that are like, they'll talk shit about the food for like five minutes. It's fucking trash every time I come here, blah, blah, blah. And then the waiter comes by and they're always like, so how's everything? It's so good. It's great. Then the waiter walks away and they're like, I fucking hate this place. Nobody ever sends their food back, right? They're always just like, yeah, 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 yeah. for the most part, they'll just be like, yeah, it's great. Nah, it's trash. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I will, I will send it back if it's not cooked properly or I have to absolutely hate it. I mean, I got a terrible meal at Yard House last week. It was the Why worst thing. Yeah, I, I have to, I have to, uh, yeah, I have to really, really, really hate it. And I like, listen, man, I'm so sorry. I just, I, I ordered the wrong thing. I, I literally cannot you know, eat the this. The thing is, is they're usually like, okay. Of course, they don't care. It's not their bottom right, line. Right, but for some reason, and you're like, I don't want to. It's a hassle. I mean, <laughs> it, it is a hassle. It's definitely a hassle for it the server and for all the, the cooks. Time. Yeah. What I hate, you know, they'll cook for you again, but what fucks, what gets me off is when the people at my table, they already got their food. Uh-huh. So by the time my new food comes, they're already done. They're ready to go. They already, they've looked at the dessert menu and decided don't want it well if they're nice they would wait for you yeah but it's weird because then everybody's looking at you well how many people are there if it's like 16 people like a basketball team you got done a tournament and you won the championship and no, everyone's no, like no, no. oh trevor doesn't have his food i guess we'll just fucking wait no 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 no. Oh, but okay. it's just like you got one group it's th- you, you and three other people and they're just sitting there like yeah yeah it's a little crazy I'm for done you my french dip and you're still looking at it man yeah, this is you know what's garbage is sometimes that happens and they'll go look man just have like half mine or have some bites and you take some bites whatever so you're not starving and then you get full off their bites then your fucking uh chicken fried steak comes you're like i don't even want this shit anymore that's happened to me a bunch really yeah because i don't fucking i'm done i'm done can you eat when you're full i can i can pick at stuff you, you know you're full and you keep just yeah but there are people like there are people that don't like I got, I have to pour water on my dad's food. Oh yeah, you're talking about that. Yeah, it's like it's it's there's there's no it's like it's not. I need to get full. It's like oh, this tastes so good. I don't have that. If right. I'm full, I'm fucking done. Like if I if I'm full, I'm like the the thought of another bite. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, vomit. <clears throat> sometimes you see like a perfect, like a, like a well cooked Brussels sprout, and you're like oh. Did I miss that one? Yeah, little, it, little crispy bitch in the corner. If we're chilling and we're talking, I'll probably pick a little bit. Yeah, but like I'm not gonna have a. Fun. You know, what I don't like is when you go to like a house party or like a, a dinner thing, and it's like they got hors d'oeuvres out front, but you know the main course is gonna be hidden. Why? Why you put crackers in front of my face? Don't make me get full. Crackers and cheese. I'm gonna load up on that shit, bro. That's what uh, those that's... olives with a little sword toothpick. I'm loading up on those. I'll take them all. I'll oh, take yeah. them all. You know what fucks me up? Spinach dip. You put fucking spinach, spinach dip out there dip with some crackers. Make that the main. <laughs> that's the main course meal. I don't care. That's that's all I'm having. That's all I'm having. 
No. Dude, my cousin actually like he hunts and then he's fucking Joe Rogan. No, he I hunts know. and and like cooks his shit and then brings it to like Thanksgiving. And oh. it's like I don't forget what meat it is, but it is insanely good. Mm-hmm. I had 67 slices of that before Thanksgiving. My mom brings up this hard-earned turkey that she spent 16 hours baking. And she's like, hey, you want some? Like, no, nah, get that away from him. I'm so yeah, full. I had elk jerky. I have elk. Good. Yeah. I'm so, oh, it was amazing. Yeah. Huh. Tapatio-flavored elk jerky. Step mm, your game up. Wow. Tapatio. Is What's this a fa- real thing? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite hot sauce? Wow. Does sriracha count? I'll count it. It's like it's... It's, it, I mean, it's sriracha if it counts. Okay. What What about not sriracha? What about not sriracha? I'm going wow. with Cholula off top. Cholula got that thickness. You know. The consistency of Cholula be all, I uh, got that. Makes you want to hug your taste buds. Tapatio, why are you so watery, bro? That's where I'm at. That's why I like the consistency of you, sriracha. Right. No, no, I don't it's, like it. No, no, no. no. Danny's like, can I have hot sauce? And like, yeah, we have this bitch that was crying for the past 19 years. Here's, here's Tapatio. Tapatio, I'm like, what, what, where did, what went wrong? Tapatio, Tapatio, Michael Jordan cried so much and I got it. No one wants it. One. Two, Tabasco. If you look me in the face and you tell me that Tabasco sauce is your favorite fucking hot sauce, you're white. Maybe that's what I'm thinking about Tabasco. Tabasco is just, it, well, no. It, it, Tabasco is like. It's wet pepper tab- water. Yes. I mean, you can't, it's, no, it's, I don't even. It, it goes on the eggs and then just runs off. It's like, yeah, get me out of here. Oh my God, it's so weird. It's like, no, stay on my fucking eggs, dude. Nah, Cholula got that, oh, and it comes with that little wood top. The wood got top, that, the mm. wood, there's something about packaging, and they, and these companies know what they're doing. There's something exactly. about packaging that makes me, if I unscrew a wood top, I go, this is quality. Oh. Quality. Even if you don't even have to un, a little cork in it? Yes. Oh, what is this? Dude, the any. Medieval king? You ever look at like when you're about to order like liquor with they go, hey, what type of gin you want? I go, oh, I'm trying something new. I'm looking at the looking at the shelf behind them. And I you know what my brain goes? What's a cool bottle? That's what the fuck? That's marketing, bro. I know. That's literally marketing. You know that uh, vodka that comes in a skull? Yeah. Probably disgusting. It is. I've had it. <laughs> it's trash. But literally, my friend Grant, who I went to college with, just biggest, just normal, just like fucking bleh, bro. Like, yeah. you know, uh, he just <clears> bought it to a party all <throat> the time. I was like, look what I got. 90 bucks. And I was like, or two bottles of Ciroc, same price. Same thing, and you won't be able to tell. Yeah, but what you do is you, you back in college, you take the, the vodka skull and you put that <clears> on yep. your bunk bed next to your bed. Oh. Girls are like, what is he, a fucking art collector? No, he just doesn't know how to recycle glass. Do you remember when you used to finish all these liquor bottles and we used to line them up in People our kitchen? People still do that. People still do that. It's it's sort of like, like hilarious. It, you know what it is to me? It's like it's like when you're hunting and you kill an elk and you cut off the head and you're like, I did that. <laughs> that That's exactly funny. what it is for college kids. Like, oh, I drank all that. That is a hilarious idea and that would make so much money. If you did, if you combined the two, you did like a wood plaque with like half empty like Jaeger bottles like cut in half and put on there and be like winter formal 2020 yep smash hey siri remind me to make those i'm just joking man. i don't fucking understand um but in uh what the fuck was i gonna say the bottles the bottles yeah but i just oh oh that's what i was gonna say what at what age do you think because i'm you know I'm, I'm on the bumble these days i'm a single guy on these streets swipe 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 and so sometimes you come across a lady that's on the younger side, you know, 20, whatever the fuck, 22, 21. And then you see, you're texting back and forth. She seems cool. And then she is still in the phase of thinking that if you drink a lot, it's cool. When does that stop? At what age you, do you come to your senses and you go? 26. You think of 20, like, 25, it, you're like, woo. And then the woos start to quiet down. Like, woo, uh, uh. Yeah, I got a four. Year. I got a four one k. What the fuck am I? Yeah, I mean, what it really is, and I know friends. Well, it depends on when you started drinking, because I think you got a solid like it. Really, what it is with if you don't go to college, it, the, or there's that mix. If you if you if you went to college and you party for four years and you graduate and you're still hitting it hard, it's like all right, what? <clears throat> Get your life together. Yeah, and you're about to hit a brick wall. I think you just is. It's the people that I know who drink the most are the ones that either didn't go to college or they didn't drink in college or they didn't start drinking until they moved out here. I think you got like a solid like eight years on the clock of just fucking hitting it. Yeah, because it is it is an interesting thing when you run into someone who's like 24, 25, 26 even, and they're just like, I fucking, I drink, it's like a, it's like a medal of honor. It's like their brand to be like, yeah. I drink a lot. And you want to go, well, okay, cool. What? How much money do you make off of drinking a lot? You fucking loser. Yeah, exactly. Also the girls that pour like a full ass glass of wine every night. What? 
You know that? I do. Yeah, that's a lot. It's too much. But you see the pores, and you're thinking like it's a little like Listerine amount, like mm-hmm. a little swishy swash. Just around a swishy swash. Just to get the taste buds a little lubed up before you go to sleep. Get the taste buds doing the tango just, right before you do the tango in your brain. You know, just get the taste buds being like, ooh. Okay, what's going on? Yeah, what are we watching? Some of The Bachelor? Don't get the goddamn. But you see the size they're pouring, you're like, Taste bud. I don't think you're supposed to fill up to the brim. This ain't a goddamn beer. Yeah, you can't fill your wine glass up as if you're a king. You ever seen like kings in those goddamn goblets? Old, yeah, the goblets, the, just to the top. Mm-hmm. You can't do that. No. Yeah, what? Women, wine is so hack. Everyone stop drinking wine. <laughs> Just can we all stop? It's so. You ever talk to girl? Hey, you fucking red wine, but I'll take a red. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! You wine drinker? <laughs> yep. Nah, <laughs> no, yeah, no, there. I'm not. No, I'll, I'll like. I'll have. I mean, I'll have a glass, but I mean, if I have a choice, I'm not gonna choose it. Yeah. But if I go into someone's house, we're chilling, whatever, and she's like, "Oh, do you want a glass of wine?" Oh, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, I'll do I'll do a lot of things that I do, wouldn't normally do if there is a vagina in the vicinity. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. If like a girl invites me over and she goes, "Do you want a PCP?" and you're yeah. like, "I thought you never asked." I ain't got nothing to do tomorrow. <laughs> Let me, yeah, exactly. You know what? Let me lock all the doors. Let's get after it. I'm gonna be honest, dude. That's what's the funny thing about being a comic. If I went over to a strange woman's house that I never met before, and she goes, "Do you want some PCP?" My immediate thought would be, "This is probably gonna be hilarious." There's some good here. So let me just do it. Yeah. There's the amount of things good. I've done because it might be funny. Oh yeah. Twenty percent of my life. Good bit here. Twenty oh, yeah. percent of my life. Dates going off, and you're like, "I'm gonna double down." Yeah. She's like, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. And you're like, yeah, we should look at a dessert menu. This but, is going great. Yeah, this is this is good. Tell me more about your divorced parents. And you look at her and you go, You're a pain. <laughs> she goes, What? I go, I go, say something funny. Dude, I had a I had a friend, it's been a, another comedian actually. He he told me he's like, You never pay for the first date. Yeah, you like, said yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that's bold. Very bold. What do you say? How do you what do you say? You look at her and with you point two fingers, put it in her chest and go, You're pain. <laughs> what yeah. Do you, what do you do? Yeah, what you just you just stand there and don't take your wallet out? Right. She doesn't take her wallet out. You both just stand at the check. Yeah, what do you, you do? Both dine and dash. Bang in the back of a Denny's. That's kind of romantic. Bang in the back. If you fight over the check and then bang in the back of a Denny's, it's fucking. Yeah, you, you are a modern day parent in New Mexico if you do that. <laughs> so so do you get upset when a girl like, doesn't reach for her wallet? I want to see something. I need something. Eyes. I need a sneeze. I need you to send me an emoji of a dollar sign. I need the most minimal. Like I went on a date recently, and the girl literally went in her purse, and she goes, "She goes, I'm, I'm gonna pay for half." That's what I like, not to ask. I'm gonna pay for half, and then you go, "I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it's totally fine." But the meek, like, do you want me to pay? You don't believe that. Go to acting school. <laughs> I need, I need emotional connection to that fucking ask. Or the. Oh, I was gonna get that. You weren't gonna get shit. You weren't. You weren't gonna get nah. nothing. Nah. You, you literally just got fired from working at the water park. You don't got any money. <laughs> We're still eating at the water park for, yeah. off your employee discount. You weren't. Yeah. You weren't gonna pay for my meal. Nope. Uh. Uh-uh. This is a corn no. dog. Uh. Yeah. But. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> corn dog. Oh Jesus Christ. Man. I fuck with corn dogs. Yeah. You don't like corn dogs? I I like them. They're solid. The idea of a corn dog, much better. A I think corn, they're pretty solid. A corn muffin condom around a hot dog. Interesting concept. Dog. What insane. about? Oh, I might be on something here. If you, I'm definitely on something here. <laughs> ha! Okay, this is this, <laughs> this is, is why you gotta watch this on YouTube, bro. Yeah. No, this is this is, this is the concept here. Right. Okay. So hot dog, corn muffin. Yes. Odd. You know okay. what people love? Huh. Chicken and waffles. Chicken tender, deep fried in a fucking waffle batter. Why is that not a thing? That's gonna be a thing in so, like that's that's literally if a food truck was selling things, that should be a thing. It'll be a thing and then people are gonna be like, have you tried uh, Barney's on third? And then that's gonna blow up. Barney's gonna have a million followers on Instagram. They're gonna be like, where'd you get inspiration? The guy's gonna think about this podcast, mom, but he's gonna be like, oh, I thought of it when I was stoned. You thought of it here. You, yeah, you watched it. thought of it here. Gabe, can you look it up to see if, it's yeah, looking at it right now. It's, it's got. It has yeah, to chick, exist. Chicken and waffles on a stick. Uh, this is a, this is a recipe for it. What is that? A Jeff Dunham character? God. Damn it! It's already a thing. Yeah, I mean, here's a. There's a recipe for it online. I don't see any restaurants yeah. selling. Yeah, it I yet. wrote that bitch. Oh yeah, Instructables.com. Author Trevor Wallace. Oh shit! That's me. Yeah. 
Um, so what what is it exactly? So it's just a chicken tender? Yeah, chicken tender, but then, yeah, breaded with waffle on the outside, and it's all on a genius. How the fuck do you make a waffle outside of a thing? Isn't it just like a pancake? How do you make a waffle and then surround it? Does that make any sense? How are you going to have yeah, the little... In- I see what you're saying. I think you just dip it and fry it. So then it's a pancake. It's not a goddamn waffle. Oh, they the same thing? It's the same thing, only it's just different shapes. Hmm. Is it different? Yeah. I mean, no, I'm, it's the same thing. Mm. It's batter. It's just all. In, it's just the waffles got little like little holes for the syrup. What do you like better, a waffle or a pancake? Waffle. Waffle have to. Waffle. Well, I mean, p- this is pancakes. the thing that pisses me off about a waffle. I'll tell you right now. The indentations <laughs> are amazing for the syrup, but the problem is for the butter. That's why you got to melt the you butter. You can't spread it. Can't spread it. But that's but, why you but melt the, the butter. The pieces that get the butter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> pancakes is the way where, where, where pancakes fucks up is it's a stack. The first pancake is always banging because you got all the butter and the and the syrup on top. Oh, you you're fucking up right now. You don't you got to do butter on individual and pancakes. You try, but when they bring it out, the bitch melted and it's it's like a little ball, and then it just goes all. So the top one's always hitting, but the bottom one's like y'all gonna. <laughs> Y'all gonna give me some butter? It's dry. It's, it's dry than a cat's asshole down here. Y'all gonna give me some butter or what? The bottom was like water. Dude, brother. Well, that's what all, nobody ever finishes a full stack of pancakes. The bottom bitch is always chilling like, so y'all don't want me, huh? I or do you eat individual or do you cut like it's a cake and do all through? I cut everything. I well, this is what I do. I'll tell you my it's secret. Breastfeed. I'll tell you my secret. I do butter on every single well, pancake. Do you have space for all that. What do you mean? Yeah. Oh, 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 dude, you're fucking up right now. You know what I do? I go. I like. The pancakes on a separate plate. What? I get the pancakes on a separate plate. Mm-hmm. I ask for extra butter. I smooth it on each individual from and from start from east to west. I go the whole thing. Then I cut it. Then you put the syrup on because then you can get it on every little nook and cranny. But how how big of a, a table do you need for that? The fucking Last Supper. That's so many plates. I ask for an extra table as well. <laughs> I am alone and I'm sitting at a family size table. Can you imagine? Fuck a busy ass IHOP. You're like, hey. I'd like another table, please. Yeah, kind of just. You got more coming? Nah. Well. You got a short stack. I got more pancakes coming? Yeah, but waffles, they got that. Mm, they do. They're flaky. They're nice and flaky. That's that's God, what it is. A good ego. Oh, motherfucking K. I don't know if we Fuck. talked about this on the podcast. Do you remember the ego waffles that were in the shape of a French toast? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What they're, were those called? They were like four and four and one, right? Oh, Oh my god, they were so good. God damn. Dog, I'm I'll starving. Trade my, I'll trade in my flashlight for a, for a toaster strudel right now. Don't you ever say that again. I will. <laughs> uh, so on Amazon, you can buy a corn dog maker, which is basically just a waffle maker, but with like hot dog shaped. And it says you can experiment with uh, other on a stick snacks. Like what, a flashlight? No, I mean like you can put oh. whatever you want in there. You can make anything. You can make a corn dog. Oh, maker. hold on. Hold on. Deep fried marshmallows. Okay. Really quick. Yeah. You can make your own dick dog what? if you put your dick in. Hold on, in the flashlight. All right, that's a dick dog. Wait, what? Because the flashlight, the flashlight is the corn muffin mix, and uh-huh. your dick is the hot dog. That's here, a dick dog. What part is the stick though? Huh? Which part is the stick? The penis. But if the penis is the hot dog, then yeah. what's the stick? That's a two for one. Oh, how, how do you guys jerk off? You don't you don't slam a stick in your in your oh, that urethra. Stick that comes with the, the stick flashlight. Comes exactly. With the flashlight. I'll tell you that much right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here's here's where I uh, there's some there's some, there's some holes in the cracks here. Um, Hold on, you just said there's some holes. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's some cracks there's in the some, holes. There's some holes. Your penis. Uh, here's the thing, you can't. There's eat some the, holes in no, the No, don't try to say I'm the weirdo for <laughs> fucking up a hole in a crack. There is, there's probably holes in a crack. Of course, there's some holes. Holes well, in a crack break your mom's back. What was that? Don't what step the on a crack. What the fuck break. you said, my mom? Bro? What was that thing? Step on a crack, break your mom's back. Yeah, I mean that's a lot of pressure. A lot. I mean the kid's seven years old. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jesus you know, Christ. It's funny is how many kids knew exactly where a crack was and then they got grounded and they sprinted outside. They're like, fuck you, mom. They stomped on it. Yeah. And they walked back in the house like, yeah, bitch, my turf. And she's just fine. Yeah, dog. That's how you figure out if you're a witch or not. Yeah. You just step on a crack. Your mom's like, you're like, oh, I got him a warlock. Fuck. I didn't know this. God, the witchcraft days are probably so funny. Just witchcraft like, days? Well, like when they would have to prove like if someone <laughs> oh, was a witch or not. Dude, you know these trials? They would drown a motherfucker. And if they, it, yeah. it was, it was. And if they regardless. lived, yeah. And if they lived, kill them. And if they kill died, them, not witch. Dead. So why don't you just shoot me in the face? But, well, they didn't have bullets then. It's just like you're. Oh, oh my god. Would you fuck a girl if she was a witch? I would. I'm very into that. <laughs> 
talking about people you don't need me on this podcast. <laughs> would you fuck a girl in the witch? I would. Yes, I would. Here's why. Here's why. You know what, Patreon members? I'll tell you why I'd fuck a witch right now. Um, I No, I'm not. I'm not doing it. No? Because right? I got a big nose. Witches got big nose. We, heaven forbid, have a child that comes out and the nose is just the size of a black diamond ski resort. Don't need it. God, dude, it looked like the Miami mascot. University of Miami mascot. The U? <laughs> what is the mascot of University of Miami? An orange? No. Pitbull? Gabe, can you please look it up? It's a very funny reference, but I you if it's a it's Seahawks. A, no, nah, well, it's a bird. It's like a it's like a big ass fucking uh, stork. Oh, I have seen it. Yeah, yeah. It's got a like a huge honker. Sebastian. Are, what? His name's Sebastian. Aren't they the Sebastian hurricanes? Ibis? You talking about this one? Aren't the University of Miami hurricanes? Yeah, they're the hurricanes. But Why they is it a, a bird? They have a bird. What a bird like kind of like a yeah, duck, there you go. Like a duck. <laughs> okay, that's literally the Oregon duck, but all right. <laughs> Why are they called the hurricanes when the mascot is a duck? Does that well, duck lay a hurricane pipe? Also, it's terrible because there's so many hurricanes that fucking have demolished Miami. And like, what are the hurricanes? It's like, well, why don't you relax? <laughs> I think we have the Los Angeles earthquakes, don't we? <laughs> probably. What is that? Isn't there a team called the earthquakes? Uh, there's, there's a team Dude, that's like the be. that's like the Jewish Nazis. You can't you can't name a Jewish Double team down. the Nazis. You probably I mean I would not be I wouldn't fight that team. D- Holy fuck, I would not play that team. No. If it wasn't all Jewish yeah. soccer San team, Jose. San, Jose San Jose earthquakes. earthquakes. That's right. I should know that. I went to school up there. Earth earthquakes. Yes, what is that? A so- is that a shitty soccer team or something? All right. Uh, they look. Did a soccer they, team? Yeah, they just got a new stadium. How do you know this? I went to San Jose State. Hold on. So it's a professional soccer team. Yeah. And they play like other professional soccer teams. Uh, yeah, no, well, they play the fucking varsity <laughs> women's softball team. That's a weird, that's a weird way to go about it. Uh, yeah, that is crazy though, because like San Jose, you got, that's close to like San Andreas Fault. There's a big earthquake in San Francisco. Yeah, I don't, like, know, yeah. I don't know who, Where they probably pitched it and somebody was like, ah, oh, this guy Raj is such a jokester. And then, but I was like, we like that. Man. Have we were, have we what about a New York 9-11s? Jesus. They would fucking, they would crush not one, but two towers. Hey, oh, <laughs> Uh, Jesus Christ! Wow. Um, so... Have we have we talked about dude this this guy named San? Great great PR behind this guy. This guy San is everywhere. Huh? San Jose, San Diego, San Antonio. Who is San and who is his agents? Because I want to be signed by this guy. This guy is a fucking every. This guy's been killing it. What about for- Santa? <laughs> Santa Barbara, Santa Paula, Santa Cruz, That's- Santa Claus. Wow. It, well, who is it? Santa or San? Who's who's killing it more? I'm a beyond. You think so? Yeah. Well, Santa Claus. Yo, yeah, that's head honcho. Do you think Santa Claus was the one that named all these places? Santa. Probably. Yeah. Does Santa show more love in Santa Paula, California, than probably he does in Des Moines, Iowa? Also, is Santa real? And when did you find out that he wasn't real? I'm Jewish, so <laughs> you never celebrated celebrated it. <laughs> Not really. You never had a tree? No, like like my cousins would have, and we'd see it there, but like... You never had a tree in the house? No. It's so funny. Jews don't give a fuck. There's, every Jew that I know has a Christmas tree. Hey, not your holiday. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but they do it just so when the neighbors drive by, they're like, ah, okay, they're... They're, they're they're chill. We don't have to egg them. Okay. Or, or they'll do like a little, like, like a smaller tree or something. No, I was... I was yeah, just... but you still killed Jesus. So why are you celebrating <laughs> the birth of someone that you murdered? But Jesus is a Jew. <sighs> That's my point. Wait, Jesus, we're, Christmas is celebrating the birth of Jesus. Jews killed that motherfucker. So you can't celebrate the birth of someone you murked out. It makes perfect logical sense. But my dad was Jewish. My mom was Catholic. I was raised oh. by my mom. So I celebrated the... See, I was opposite. Fuck. Papa was uh, Christian. Mama, Judaism. Did your dad convert? Yeah. Well, that's how it works. I don't right? If the mom is Jewish, yes. Then you're more by, you're, so, technically you're more Jewish than me. Yeah. yeah. If, it, if the mom is Jewish then you're Jewish. That's just how it works. This yep. is how controlling Jewish women are. They're just like, "What? Mom now, bitch. Locks and bagels." And you're Which just like, God, That's that's the only Jewish food that's good, by the way. No. I mean, I guess yeah. matzah's uh no, crackers. Know. No, dude, you put crackers with a little bit of jelly and, and some butter. Suma rapoco na I don't know what. I didn't say anything. It was just, it was just fucking <laughs> uh, made up shit. Yeah, what, it's, uh, it's insane. Yeah. But but Jewish food's garbage. But my, yeah, my dad converted. He just like, what I gotta do? Uh, yeah, I could do that. Yeah. I mean, I'm a I'm gonna be honest because I think both of your parents listen to this, but I'm gonna say it so it's not your fault. Oh, we all know. <laughs> all right, dude, your mom must have had 
that thing to Jesus convert Christ. religions for it's it. Like it's not even a, a, a problem. It's like, oh yeah, I got you, got you. Yeah, that's yeah, what you I'm. Do what? Take out the the garbage and convert to Judaism. Yeah, I could do that. What's on the menu for tonight? I mean, that's that's. So you want me to change all my beliefs that I've believed in my entire life? And she goes, yes. And he goes, not a problem. Oh, that's yeah. insane. That's wild. My my mom converted from my dad for like a little bit, and my mom's super Catholic. You know, which is weird because I don't know if my dad was putting it down like that had to, to convert religion, but I guess had to be. I guess he did. That's a new level right there. Yeah, I think my dad listens too. So congratulations, Dad! You converted a person's beliefs. That's I mean, dude, that's insane. That's like a lot of love. It's also like that's dipping your toes in the water. Like, what else could I do? You're like, oh, you can you can be like, you can convert to something like. Oh, in our religion, yeah, you know, you got to cook Salisbury steaks every Tuesday at twelve thirty. That's crazy. So, <laughs> where my food at? <laughs> would you would you convert religions? You don't you don't really have really strong okay well, religion, okay. Well, the, this so, is I mean, yeah, this is actually more impactful. So, say you marry like a a Catholic woman, right? And she was like, you know, she had strong beliefs. It didn't like affect her personality. She wasn't like, do you believe in God? But like, she like you know, she celebrated um, all the holidays pretty hard, and she went to church every Sunday, and she wanted you to do the same, and you love this girl. Would you convert? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't. I mean, I think, I think it's it, one it hour happens. on Sunday. It's all good. No, it's I'm hungover though. So. That's true. You drinking on Sundays? Uh, but see, the good thing is we're comics. So we're never going to be in town on Sunday. So that's great. Whoopsie, flights, motherfucking oops. Daisy. Ew. <laughs> uh, dude, I'll tell you one of the most fun experiences I ever did. I went to a black church, and oh. the, have you ever been to one? Yes. The energy is unmatched. I like left there feeling like I just like had like a line of like a key bump of Jesus. Like I was on a new level. Yeah, dude. It's it's I was it's like this is lit. It's Catholic BET comic view is it, what it is. No, it was like I walked in and I saw a drum set and I was like, is that from last night? And they're like, you'll see. And then it just it's on YouTube. It's uh it's like I think it was just called like white people go to a black church for the first time on all deaf digital. And it's it was like literally it was a fun video to make. Yeah. Me and then two other comedians just went and like it was so welcoming, so warm. It was fucking lit. One one of the scriptures was about Beyonce. What? When this was when Lemonade came out, and I was yeah. like, Yeah. Huh? You were like, when when did Beyonce going, get in the Bible? <laughs> what? <laughs> she got a a star on the walk of fame, but she in the Bible? Hold up. Which one come first? This is a new New Testament? God damn. Oh, yeah. Hold up. 808 <laughs> Mafia. <laughs> Futures in the bag. Uh, bro, it was two two stories. You know, they, they got both views. They were selling bottle service at one point. It was lit up in this bitch. Did you did you uh, catch the Holy Ghost? A little bit. No. I was singing. But I'm saying, did they make you spit in, spit in tongues? Oh, did no. They try, did they try to do that whole thing? Nah, bro, it was... I, I honestly don't even think I was at church. I think it, it honestly felt like the beginning of like a pyramid scheme rally. I was just pumped. I was just ready to do shit. Yeah. I don't know what I was gonna do, but like I left there being like, "Whoa, bro, let's fucking start a hedge fund." The only the only problem is that shit lasts like two hours. It's a little long. It's long. A little long. How long was yours? Do you remember? About it two? was like an hour and a half. Which oh, that's fine. but but they, uh, the producers of the show prefers me. They're like, "This could be a really long day," and I was like, "Oh, it was Kev, Kev on stage." He was like, yeah. "This is gonna be a long day." Yeah, because it wasn't it, that long though. Because I think I don't know if they have like a set like a set time. I don't think they're like because the church I go to with my mom and shit like it that that like Roman Catholic church that's just, it's like thirty minutes for like forty five yeah. minutes. Well, here's the thing though, it's just like it's Sunday is good energy. You're like boom, I'm gonna go home and clean the house or something. But like yeah, Judaism it's Friday night. I am tired. What's the worst show of the week at a comedy club? Sunday nights and. Friday early show. Ugh. They're just they're not the worst show, no, but no, the, no. The, the energy feels forced. The Friday ten o'clock, better. No, no. I, I thoroughly Please disagree. Route. The Friday late show is notoriously horrendous. They're, they're notoriously the rowdiest. Yeah, because well, they're the most drunk and they're the most tired. Yeah, um, I feel that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't. Maybe the the temple services seem long because it's Friday night and you're tired, but like there's not a lot of energy. Also, speak English. <laughs> Can you please speak English for the love of God? No one knows what you're saying. A bunch of chachas. No one knows what you're saying. Oh, Zero people. I, I just I just put my head down and just do a couple of, you know. Na, 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 na. I haven't. To be honest, I, I just think the Mario Kart theme song and just, just go from there, you know. Did you go to, did you have a bar mitzvah? Bar yeah. mitzvah? You did? Bro, I was. I never got one. How much money, how much money did you cake up on that day? It's a saw. It's a check. Please tell it's me. Like, it's, uh, Can I guess? Well, well I think, I, think uh, I mean, a check now versus a check as a kid is of like course, separate. I could have got like 500 bucks and be like, oh, so what, I mean, y'all want 
three hundred of this, and I'll and I'll save the other two for like a house. Or something. I'm gonna get a house and an M3 on this one fifty. I'm gonna get a house and an easy bake oven. Y'all fucking better watch me. I'll buy one prostitute for this. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know how much it was to be honest. This was so long ago. I was thirteen, so it was fourteen years ago. God damn, it was a whole ass half of me. Shit. Bro, it's so split. you learn how to speak the chachas? Oh, I memorized it. That's all you do. You, you, just, you memorize uh, a paragraph and you spit it in front of people. And then afterwards, um, when nobody knows what the fuck you're saying, everybody's like, oh, fuck bars. Here's $1,000. And now you can go take pictures in a booth and wear funny hats. Yeah, Jews be loving to give money on that day. Oh, yeah. I never got one. You turned into a man. I got a confirmation, but you don't make racks like that. You just, a rabbi just head nods at you when you walk down the street. He's like, you good. Is Hagen? The rabbi just head nods at you. He's like, you good? What the confirmation? Yeah, what, the confirmation what, what? is a Catholic shit. All right, never it's mind. it's the same. It's the same. Like, oh, you're uh, you're an adult in the church, and yeah, but you don't really got to do a whole bunch. So, what's <clears throat> King's year? You turn fifteen and you're out here. I think you turn. Yeah, it's like yeah. I think you're like a lady. Wait, guys can do it too, right? Or no? I don't think guys have King's year. King's year is just for girls. Damn. So they just they don't give a fuck about the dudes. So mine was. You had one? Bruh. Uh-huh. Yeah, hold up. God damn. <laughs> Maybe I was drunk and stumbled into the wrong Chuck E. Cheese. What the hell going on? <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese is so funny. Yes, Gabe. We're running out of time, but we have so many good Sock Talk questions. You want to kind of rapid fire some? Let's do it, boy. Yeah. All Why right. are you shooting? The rapid fire. Oh, I get it. I don't think you've ever shot a gun. I have not. There's a laser gun. Sounds you ever- like you're holding a bunch of chickens. And just- That's pretty good. Yeah. My guns aren't good? Hey, Gabe, let's do this. Amigo song, all right? I love the Migos. I love them. Great. All, right. all right, so this first one comes from uh, Larry Kitcher. Okay. Would sex in space be cool? Yes. Oh, my God, yes. Dude, no gravity? You're slaying it. Nutting. And then catching it and putting it in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where else it would go. Yeah, well, you can't put it in the trash can. Dude, I just pictured that, that soundtrack. Do, 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 do. Can you imagine? Bum, bum, bum. Can you imagine trying, trying to, to dodge it? Doo, 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 can you imagine trying to come in her face? She's like, cut my face. She's like, heck you. It'd be so slow. <laughs> Ew. I would hate that. Yeah, she would have to. Jellyfish in the sky. You'd be cool though. Next question. Yeah. All right. Fitness man 420 says, uh, can you titty fuck an ass? Yes. I don't know if it's called titty fuck, but you could definitely, you can definitely butt fuck an ass. Big enough. <laughs> well, you. I'm thinking, I think it's not going in. I'm saying up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going in between the cheeks. It's not yeah. called titty fuck. It's an ass. It's called the corn dog. Oh, my God. Next. That ain't bad. It's called a hot dog and a hamburger bun. Hamburger bun. <laughs> hot dog and hamburger bun. That's what it is. There's too many M's in your hamburger. What? Hamburger bun? <laughs> That's it. What'd I say? Ham, ham, I don't know. You said something with a lot of M's in it last the time. The Hamburglar. That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> yes. He's a McDonald's guy. He stole hamburgers? Well, he's not a McDonald's. Get a better business model. <laughs> no, this fucking guy <laughs> is a pedophile for sure. Oh, yeah. And all yeah. he does is put a little mask on the eyes. We know you. <laughs> Look at your body, buddy. No one looks like you, sir. Can see you. We'll pick you up with a lineup, no You're problem. The only guy who just rummages through people's bags at Planet Fitness looking for protein powder. All right, you, we know who you are. You know what's so funny? If he comes in a lineup and he's the only cartoon, you're like, <laughs> clearly you, sir. <laughs> I'm going to go with the guy with four fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Always have four fingers. Go ahead, sir. Gabe, All here's. right. Next one comes from Mike O.S. Bon. B-O-N. Uh, if you could, Cinnabon. Cinnabon. Word is Bon. Uh, if you could break any law once without any consequences, what law are you breaking? Murder. Oh. Was that too fast? <laughs> a little quick. A little quick. Ah, Jesus Christ. Uh, I think everybody's thinking that probably. Yeah, but I, I, I say that quickly, but it's, it sounds cool. But like, I couldn't, I don't think I could murder anyone. Nah, that's terrifying. Um, could you get away with the crime? Is that what he's saying? Yeah. Oh, I would, I would rob a bank. Long. I mean, I'd rob a bank quickly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If that's, I mean, if that's what we're talking about, yeah, yeah, I'd rob a bank. Oh, yeah, I'd rob, I'll probably Bill Gates. Bill Gates mm-hmm. home? Uh, I don't know what I'd do. I'd be like, yeah, Venmo me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he doesn't have any like cash, you know what I mean? Yeah, his bank accounts though. Yeah, wow. Well, got nice shit at his house. You know what I do? Bananas. I'd ask him, no, fuck that. I would do what's what's a in, I would do inside trading, because that's the way you make the most money. Yeah, but I feel like I I don't I think this question is like, the, could you right now like go walk outside and just do insider trading? <laughs> no, but, that, I mean? but that's so that's so funny to walk up some. I'm an inside trading. Like, I'm what are you go talking? to the bank uh, a couple blocks from here and just be like, what you got? How much money does a bank have in it? I don't think they really have much. No. Like, they, I, like you can go to a bank now. They don't have those giant glass or those giant 
uh, safes that they used to. I think as a I, child, there was that that mentality. You're like, that's where they keep the money. I think they do, but I don't think there's like, I don't think there's like two point seven million dollars in cash. Yeah. I mean, you're lucky to walk out with like forty k. You're gonna go to jail for forty k like, and some pens. A lot of pens, and you can't even get it off top. because they're stuck on a stuck. chain. Right. That's how you get caught. You're like, I wanted the forty k and the pens, and I and then couldn't get it off. Ah. <laughs> yeah. What else we got? Um, all right, this comes from Pat- Patricia Reddy. Is it normal to hook up with a guy who only wants to do anal? Yes. Absolutely not. You imagine hooking up with a, with, a, with a girl that's like, I only want you to butt fuck me. That's it? Maybe if it's like a super Catholic woman. I don't know. It's not normal. Is the I would ask question. what's going on here. I'd be like, it feels, you know, sir, there's also the, the front entrance. She, well, let me ask you this. You Are you a Barbie doll? She could be a Barbie doll. She could be. I, I would ask some questions. Why are you always come through the sliding glass door when the garage door is fine? The garage door is fine, and it smells great. Great. The sliding glass door might not smell great. Yeah. It might not smell great. Might be cooking up some pork chops, you know what I'm saying? God damn, a little spinach. Uh, Cook spinach smells trash. It smells trash, but then you put a little cheese in that shit? <laughs> <laughs> Spinach dip? Are you, are you, I'm trying to. I don't. Are I don't you eating grilled spinach. Uh, I'm trying to make spinach dip in my head, but uh, is cheese even in spinach dip? Yes. Is it? Gotta be. Cheese? Oh. Spinach yeah. dip? Is it spinach? Dude, spinach, not regularly, spinach dip is literally just like a cup of mayonnaise <laughs> and some spinach. It really is. Really? Yeah. And then you get the little packet that makes it, like oh. with the seasoning and shit. You guys fuck with onion dip? You, dude, so good. fucking you talk dirty to me on my birthday, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, bro. <laughs> All right, we got another question from Rachel Pylee who says, does nipple size on a girl really matter to a guy? Yes. 100%, dude. You got fucking areolas. T- 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 yeah, but you say that now, but she she's girl of your dreams. Okay. She's amazing. Yeah. She gets on top, flips it off, and then boom, they're covering up the whole thing. And you're like, is that a chocolate covered strawberry? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on there? Uh... You, you'll get past it. I would get past Mentally, it. Mentally, but it in, might be like, right, right. But like, initially, I'm like, every like 90s movie, there's that record scratch. You're probably yeah. wondering how I got here. There'd be one of those moments. Yeah, I would ask, why do you have a Fiat on your boob? Kind of hot, though. <laughs> <laughs> what if you, what, what is this like a shape? Like, she's like, it's my, oh, I saw porns and shit that like, they, they carve the areolas. So like, you ever seen those girls that have like, ha- like hearts for nipples? Nah. Uh-uh. All That's right, well. Thing. That's makeup. That's CGI. They're not. They're, they're not. They're not Hold reconfiguring on. it. Like oh, can I, I, I'm. I'm. I know we're trying to do rapid fire, but can you please look this up because I know oh, I have. I have, I have seen girls on porns that have hearts for areolas. Yeah, but you also watch witches fuck. So <laughs> was it real? Was it witchcraft? What is it? I don't know. I would definitely fuck a witch. Seriously. So yes. Yeah. yeah. You can do a nipple graft. Woo! So you could turn your, you could turn it into, into like a, a, a like a, a McDonald's M, like two arches. That'd be kind of hard. <laughs> that would when be. When they hard. come together. Yep. That's where I'm on board for that. Yeah. When they when they come together. What I'm other good. shapes can you do, or what other shapes you've seen, Gabriel? Um, I don't see any other shapes. All right. Just because I haven't. You know you're from New York if your titties are Timberlands. <laughs> If like the Timberland, the Timberland sign. Oh yeah, if they're just eating a fucking goddamn bacon, egg, and cheese, bacon, egg, and cheese. Uh, Next, let's get like two more, and then we'll fucking secret. Sign. Secret, sassy. yeah. All right. Um, would you rather be a grower or a shower? This comes from Pedwards05. I mean, grower. I'd rather my dick be the size of a buffalo nickel and then get gigantic, yeah. than than be like gigantic and just stay the same size. It's more impressive that way because it's like. You yeah, know? you ever seen those pills you put water on and grow? That's what I want. Oh, you ever dealing with a paper straw? You scrunch it down and you put water on it? Yep. And I was like, yep, that's me yep. right there, baby. I got a paper penis. You ever seen an accordion? Just asking. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. Uh, this yep. comes from Henry Hotow24. All right. Uh, well, not really a question. Born? He just says, lions never eat grass, no matter how hungry they are. Never drop your standards. <laughs> This guy's, this, this guy's a modern Mark Twain. Bro, what yearbook did you steal that from? Um, so that, he's pretty much just saying like, never settle for some trash. Like you could be surrounded by the easy shit, but always go for the hardest. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, he he's saying don't ever drop your standards. So if you're at a party, if you're at a party and there's a bunch of fours around, you're really not attracted to them it's physically grass. or personality wise. That's some grass. And don't eat the grass. McDonald's titties. Exactly. I feel like a lion's definitely had grass before though. 100%. No lions is just going to fucking not eat grass. Yeah, dude, there's no vegan goddamn lions. 
<laughs> you don't think there's a vegan line? Might be like two. That lives in like the San Diego Zoo? That's like, ew, Santa meat. Monica. S- Santa San Diego. Paula. San Antonio. I already said San Antonio. San Juan. Capistrano. You just, what did you say to me? San Juan Capistrano. You called me a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Secret sock, let's do it. We're running out of time. All right, this comes from an anonymous listener who says, my roommate used to use all of my toiletries and never replace them, so I would nut in them and keep the nut-free shampoo and stuff in my room for me. I love this guy. I I love, I, I can't tell you how much I love this person. I don't know who you are because it's anonymous, but dude... Good for you. That is some. That that is some vindic. I mean, wow. But, but there's something to be said about like that's like a next level petty prank. Like to to just slowly, like have it blank, like burn them instead of being like, oh, guess what? Came in your fucking toast. That ain't a toaster strudel. That's not. Ba da ba. This I'm is like slow. Re- <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this is like revenge over time. Like the, that's the greatest victory on earth for this guy. That's wild. I love this guy. I mean. Well, I need to know all the context is because if the dude like one time ate your egg of waffles like yeah, two years ago and you're like, oh, no, you're like, that's, wow, that's, that's too cool. much. Every morning this guy's rubbing nut juice in his hair being like, maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Michael. It's Michael. It's. Oh, God. Ugh. It's interesting. One time it's, I got really drunk and peed in a shampoo bottle. Uh, uh, this was probably 10 years ago. I'm sorry to whoever did. It was 10 years ago. Uh, college party. My sister took me to I peed in somebody's shampoo bottle and I don't know how to feel about that. Like a full one? Uh, I don't know. Oh my God. What do you mean you don't know how to feel about all it? Right. You need to go to church immediately. That's fucked. I'm sorry for all my sins. Yeah. No, it was, wow. Uh, I don't know, I, it was like the first time I was hammered. I was at a college party and I was still in high school. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go pee in this sham bottle. Wow. And then I did. That is fucked up, dude. Yeah. There's, I mean, someone washed their hair with that. I mean, it's good pee. I had asparagus prior. Oh, all right. Well, probably some, everyone's Somebody. like, God, your hair smells so good. <laughs> What is it? I don't know. I thought it's organic stuff. It's got a little pungent taste. Too gross. Anyways, let's wrap things up here. Uh, oh my god. The, I'm gonna say this last thing we'll get out here. Uh, my Kiki. college Mike, will you let me? My college roommates and I, we always used to fuck around and say we're gonna put um what's the shit that make your hair fall out? God damn it. Well, no, that makes your hair grow. Some shit uh Nair, Nair, Nair. thank Nair. you. Thank you. That they were gonna put Nair in everyone's shampoo. So every yeah. single Dude, time for prank. four years, I would smell my shampoo, and I was hoping that uh, Nair smelled different, but I it swear does. to God, it does. It's pungent. Yeah. I, I would literally smell my shampoo bottle, I think for like three and a half years when I was in college, because how terrible would that be? Right in right. if that's ever happened to you, by the way, guys. I'd cry. That's a, that's a pretty popular prank, I think. Jesus Christ. Jesus. All right. Well, we're out of time, guys. Look, March 5th. Through the seventh, Oklahoma City. Come see me. And then March fourth, Atlanta, baby. Come see your boy, Tampa Go 24th. Come see, see me. T Wally. Um, April third and fourth, I'm gonna be in Lincoln. Michael Blaus sign. Come see me. Yell jokes at motherfucking corn huskers. Um, guys, you're awesome. We love you. Thank you so much for supporting. Also, if you're not a Patreon member, what are you doing? New merch coming month. soon. That's all I can say. Oh, oh yeah. New bum, bum, coming. Bum. Love you guys. I gotta pee. Peace.